and in today's video i'm actually gonna be doing my own nails and i've been wanting to do my own nails for the longest the first time i did it actually turned out real good but of course it did take me a while to figure out how to make it smaller because i made them too long for my liking especially knowing i had gym class I'm actually going to attempt to do butterfly nails. As you can see, I already got them done. I actually did it like two years, not two years, two days ago. I stayed up until close to 5 a.m. in the morning just to do nails. Like, I started around 10, actually no, close to 12, and then I didn't finish it until four or five something in the morning and I'm just like I did my own nails for that long hey it is what it is it is what it is it is what it is <laughs> give this video a thumbs up please subscribe comment down below what you guys think about the nails and yeah, without further ado, let's get on with the video. First step before I actually try to make the nail, I actually use the base coat on my nails just so it can be able to stick onto my nail for one and two, so it can last longer. And as you can see, I'm applying it to all my fingers. By the way, you're actually supposed to file them down before you actually polish them on there, which I forgot, but I filed my nails the other day. Ah, there's me, and I'm using my UV light to cure the actual nail polish so I can move on to this next step. Next, I'm going to be using the poly gel, which is clear. The other one I was showing you is the mold to help you shape through it and it has different sizes which it makes it easier and I find I've, as of right now I'm finding the right one for my finger and then as I find the right one I used a bit of gel and just try to put it on there it's a little messy though so I had to get a cotton swab to fix it and then after that I'm about to use this brush which helps me to shape the nail and I forgot what this clear stuff is, this watery substance, but it's to help to make it easier to blend it out because without it, it makes it difficult to like get the mold that you want. It takes me a minute, but eventually I got it. It's a little messy trying to put it on a little bit, but it's okay. After curing it and then filing it down, this is what it should look like. You can do whatever shape you want, but I decided to do this type of shape. Now I'm about to go in with my yellow nail polish. And I actually got the butterfly sequins for your nails for like $4.99 off of Amazon. But you can also get it for eBay for cheaper. Now I'm actually going to try to open this nail polish. And I'm going to paint it onto where the pink nails are at. As you can see, I'm trying to put on a lot, so I had to put on three coats because it's kind of like, it's kind of see-through, so that's not what I want. I want to be more, you know, I want the yellow to pop more instead of the pink color that came from the poly gel. After it's all dried and looking nice, I'm actually going to put the top coat on top of the yellow nails, including the clear ones as well, just so I can add the butterflies on there. Since I don't have the tool where you can be able to grab stuff, like the nail art, and put it on the nail, I'm actually using a toothpick. <laughs> 
to put the butterfly onto the actual nail. But first and foremost, don't, I can't forget about the top coat first. Actually gonna use the toothpick and I'm about to try to grab as much butterflies as I can so I can put on the clear nail and it takes me a minute especially I started this around like 11 p.m. and I didn't finish my nails until 4 something but like everyone else says patience is key After I'm done with adding butterflies to a clear nail, I will go back to the top coat with the yellow nails. I'm actually going to put butterflies on my thumb too, and then I'm going to cure it. And this is what my nails turned out, and it actually turned out cute on one hand, and now I'm about to do the same to the other. To be honest, I had really fun doing this. They actually came out very cute, which made me happy. And honestly, I just thank God for giving me multiple talents. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. So in the beginning, this took literally five to six hours to do because of the process trying to file them down trying to make sure the molding is right it but i did it and i thank god for blessing me with this type of talent i also thank god that i am patient because if i was impatient it, it would not even last this video wouldn't even exist <laughs> But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys stick to the end, thank you. you guys, let me, uh, I cannot talk to them. Let me know what you guys think about the nails and if you guys think I should make more videos on not just nails, but beauty and then lifestyle, even spiritual videos too. So. Let me, let me know in the comments down below. And yeah, I'll see you guys in this next video. Bye.